guys Eagle Aquatics back here and in today's video I'm gonna be coming at you with a video uh, a pretty requested video people always ask me questions about this I as you guys know I have the whole reef aquarium series the 125 gallon reef aquarium series all kinds of videos on the build of this tank and what we did to build it but I always get questions about the plumbing on this reef tank the, the drainage and the uh, return systems that we did because we hard plumped, it, hard plumbed this tank. I made a short video on it a while back, but I kind of want to go in depth in this video because people always ask me uh, what I did to plumb it, what I used, and uh, how we did it. So I'm going to take you guys around the plumbing on this reef tank uh, and show you guys what we did to do it. So starting on the top with just the overflows. This is an Aquion 125 gallon aquarium. It has two oh, towers. You guys overflows. probably know it has the, uh, the Aquion Mega Flow overflows. This is the drainage right here, the siphon that drains the water back down. This is just standard on all the tanks. And here's the return. The, uh, I have dual outputs here. I was always, I, eventually, I'll probably extend these with more of the snap block line. I'd like to have these go out to here and then more down. Uh, just to get these farther into the tank to produce more flow, but just all standard outputs and drainage Systems up here same over here. There's the uh, drainage right there And then there's the return right here with these two outputs facing the same direction have it facing the top uh, water agitation on the top and uh, basically just all standing on the top so underneath is where we did all the work here this is what people always ask me questions on, is all this plumbing and what's behind it all. As you guys know, I did a video a while back, but it, it was just, I just touched on it. I just showed you guys basically everything, but I'm gonna go in depth here. So, with this light, I don't have too much light under here, but here it is. So yeah guys, both the drainage pipes, the drainage from the tank, and then the return from the uh, return pump, they are different size pipe according to the size of the bulkhead. There's, as you get, a lot of you guys probably know, one inch bulkhead right here, and then there's a three quarter inch bulkhead for the return pump side. So we have one inch pipe for the drain, and then this is three quarter inch pipe shooting back into the tank. So I get a lot of questions on why we did this, why we put this flex pipe here and put hose clamps on it. The reason we did this, we, we glued this up here. See that piece of one inch pipe glued into the bulkhead? That's glued into the bottom of the bulkhead with PVC glue, both those, both sides. And then we clamp this. We use the two uh, flex pipes with two hose clamps. We did that so we could remove all this piping if we ever moved the tank or something. That way we could just unscrew the bulkhead and push that side of it out and then we wouldn't have to worry about moving the, uh, or cutting any of the pipe out when we have to move the tank or something breaks or something like that, or if I want to clean the pipe. So all I have to do is take those hose clamps off and then this pipe all drops and I could take it all out, it's all removable. That's the thing a lot of people don't do is put these removable sections in. Uh, if you don't do that, then you gotta cut the pipe out and it's you know useless, then you have to redo all your work. So if you put these flex pipes in with two hose clamps on each side, then you can remove the pipes uh, whenever you need to, whether it be servicing or moving the tanks, and it just makes your life a lot easier when you have to do that. Um, so that's that, and it's the same on both sides. As you guys can see up there, same thing. And we did not glue, we didn't glue the bulkheads to the glass or anything like that. The only thing we glued was that the piece of pipe into the bulkhead and then we put these hose clamps and a flex pipe on so you can remove it. So the bulkheads are removable and so are the pipes. So here is all the craziness happening under here. So I'm just going to start with the return pump side. So the return pump. Jabo uh, DCP like uh, I don't know 10,000 or something like that so it comes up this is one inch pipe I started with one inch pipe from the uh, return pump because I wanted as much water flow back into the tank as possible 
I want it to equal the amount coming down, being drained in. So I just put one inch to here. This is one inch pipe to a check valve. This is a one inch check valve right here. It's an anti uh, back siphon valve. So the water goes in one, but it can't flow down the other way. You need, this is a must. Like if you have a reef tank, big reef tank with a sump, put one of these on there because you'll never flood if the power goes out or anything. This thing's amazing. And then this is still one inch to a 90 degree elbow. elbow. All one inch pipe, one inch pipe, one inch pipe, up to here. Now this is a T valve or split splitter valve. I'm not, I'm not an expert on what these things are called, but the one inch pipe comes up to here and then it turns into three quarter inch. So this is one inch here, one inch pipe goes here, and then these are, oh, you know what? Actually, no. No, the one inch pipe goes into this 90 degree elbow here. And then we have a reducer right here. If you guys could see this reducer, this is one inch to three quarter inch reducer right here. You could buy these, at, you could buy all this stuff at Menards or something. But one inch comes here through this 90, and then this is a one inch 90, but we have this reducer. This is one inch to three, three quarter inch right here. And then we have a three quarter inch pipe right here glued in. And then this is a three quarter inch um, uh, splitter pipe, whatever you want to call it. So this splits the return into two. So one three quarter inch pipe, and then this is all three quarter inch pipe from here on. So it splits there, it goes that way. And then it goes back into the tank. This is the three quarter inch from that, from that splitter valve right there, T valve. And then uh, this is a 90 degree elbow right here. And then there's another 90 degree elbow going up to the bulkhead and up to the return right there. So these are two 90 degree elbows. This is a 90 right here, and there's, no, and there's a small piece of PVC pipe glued in between those to stick them both together. So this is like a dual 90 degree to get that angle up back up to the bulkhead. And then it is the exact same over here. If you guys could see this, this is also the three, three quarter inch pipe with the same type of uh, engineering over here. 90, 90, back up. To the bulkhead and uh, they're held up we have these PVC hangers right here these pipe hangers we can see them these are really helpful so the pipes don't stat sag you don't have pressure on the pipes they're really nice to have so that is the return side from the pump so as you guys see one inch one inch to a 90 degree elbow with a reducer inside of it it reduces it to three quarter inch and then it keeps going the T, T fitting and then boom, splits them into two. So the drainage part, the drains into the filter side, drains into the sump, this is all one inch pipe. So it comes, there's the drain right there, that's one inch. And then it comes down, 90 degree elbow right there, you see it. And then it comes over here to another 90 degree, one inch 90 degree elbow right here, keeps going few hangers, one inch, one inch, and then we have these uh, valves right here for turning down the water flow. Honestly, you do not need these. I don't use them at all. We just thought we'd include them in case the downflow is too much for the sump to handle, for the return pump to handle, just for emergencies pretty much, uh, so you could turn the flow down or flow up. Unnecessary. You do not need these here. If I did it again, I'd just straight pipe it right down. Uh, but as you guys know, it comes into a 90 degree here and straight down. These aren't cracked or anything, they run the straight water through. You don't need these, just straight pipe it right on this filter sock. And then it is the exact same on the other side. Right here, it comes down here 90 degree, one inch, 90 degree right there. and then it drains right into the filter sock. Now, these pipes are submerged about, I would say three or four inches under the water in the filter sock. You can see them down there. It's either submerged, yeah, probably about three or four inches down into the water. That is to reduce the noise. Then it's not splashing, it's not making any noise. There is no noise from these if you submerge them into the water. 
Now, if you had them cut off right here, draining into this, there'd be a ton of noise. It'd be really annoying. So I made sure to submerge these underwater. There's no noise with them. And uh, it's just really easy. Uh, not, not very difficult to hard plumb an aquarium. A lot of people use soft tubing. I mean, it works, but it doesn't look very good, you know? This doesn't cost too much money, and it's just more effective, if you ask me, honestly. And it looks a heck of a lot better. Like, if you do it pretty good, make sure all your measurements are spot on, if you have a super efficient system. So, oh, yeah, another thing you guys might ask, why didn't you just meet these uh, in the middle like that, like the return? Why didn't you just use a T-valve right here and have one downspout? I just didn't want to, I, I don't know, I don't know if it matters or not, I just didn't want to have all the water rushing into one and then psh, having to force down, you know, I don't know, that's just me. I had two pipes coming down and it solves the problems, you know, and you never have to worry about anything. But uh, that's basically it guys, that's basically all the plumbing setup on this tank. It's pretty simple when you get right down to it, it doesn't take much to do, uh, and it looks really good under here you know you could get any color pipe i know bulk reef supplies sell different color piping like red white blue all kinds of stuff you can use white pipe this gray pipe we got from menards it's like a thicker grade like sprinkler fitting uh type pvc i'm not even sure standard uh, pvc glue and a solid solid system so uh that's basically all plumbing uh on this tank if you guys want to make the exact setup, you can use this for any size tank, honestly. Works for all the overflows and everything. So hopefully you guys got a little bit of information from this video. I know we get questions on it all the time. Hopefully you guys found this interesting and uh, it clarified a few things for you guys. Um, so if you guys want to see more videos on this tank, make sure to check out the series on it. There's a whole series. I got like 20 something videos on this tank, how I built it, what runs it, everything. So go check that out. Hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed the video and I will see you guys next time.